Hello and welcome to my online prep. I once again welcome you all on our platform of my online prep and this is the chapter number 4 in which we are going to study about the correlation and regression and I hope ki abhi tak aapne baaki chapters ki video bhi dekh li honge aur un chapters pe ek strong pakad aap mehsoos kar pa rahe honge. So in this class we are going to study about the correlation and regression. जैसे कि हम सब जानते हैं कि कोरिलेशन में दो इंपॉर्टेंट वेरिएबल्स होते हैं दैट इज एक्स एंड वाई जिसमें एक इंडिपेंडेंट और एक डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल होता है ठीक वैसे ही हमारी इस टाइम की तैयारी डिपेंड करेगी कि व्हाट आर द मार्क्स वी आर गोइंग टू गेट वेदर वी आर गोइंग टू क्वालिफाई और नॉट सो लाइक कोरिलेशन वी हैव टू वेरिएबल सो हियर आल्सो वी हैव टू इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स दैट दे आर गोइंग टू डिसाइड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्कोर 60 प्लस और नॉट so I don't think कि आप इस crucial chance को miss करना चाह रहे होंगे। So बाकी videos की तरह आगे भी आपके लिए videos आती रहेंगी हर एक important chapter के important MCQs और revision videos के साथ। So do not forget to click on the subscribe button and bell icon पे भी आप अपना button दबा दीजिए, so that आप timely सारी ही videos को cover कर पाएं। और इस chapter के अंदर we are going to cover the topics that is objectives, introduction, scatter diagram. Along with correlation, regression, and standard errors of the estimate. So come on, let's get started to some of the very important questions that are going to boost your chapters for the preparation strategy. So let's get started for the same. So first question is, if a correlation coefficient is 0.85, which of the following would be the true? The first, the variables are negatively correlated. The second, the variables have a perfect positive correlation. The third, the variables are positively correlated. And the fourth, the variables have no correlation. Amongst the various options, we can say that option C would be the correct answer. Now, why option C would be correct? Because correlation 0.85 indicate karta hai ki ek strong positive correlation hai. क्योंकि कोरिलेशन की जो वैल्यूज है वो वेरी करती है प्लस वन से माइनस वन के बीच में कभी भी कोरिलेशन की कोई भी वैल्यू वन से एक्सीड नहीं कर सकती वेदर इट्स प्लस ऑफ वन और इट्स माइनस ऑफ वन सो 0.85 क्योंकि प्लस वन के क्लोज है सो वी कुड से दैट देयर एक्जिस्ट अ पॉजिटिव कोरिलेशन कि दो वेरिएबल्स के बीच में काफी पॉजिटिव कोरिलेशन है फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मार्क्स अ स्टूडेंट गॉट एंड द Hard work he do. The more hard work he do, the more better marks he is going to score. So same is the correlation. So for this question, answer would be C option is correct. Next question is calculate the coefficient of correlation from the following data. We have X and Y series. We have different X series elements which is 5, 10, 5, 13 and 12. And Y series is 8, 5, 2, 4 and 5. So here what we are going to do, we have to apply the formula. For that we need to find certain things. First we are going to write the X series. 5, 10, 5, 13 and 12. And we have Y series as 8, 5, 2, 4 and 5. So here total of X would be equals to 45 and total of Y would be equals to 25. We have to find x square that would be 5 multiplied by 5 that is 25 then here it would be 100 again 25 then we have 169 and 144. So the total of x square would be equal to 463 then we have y square which would be equals to 64 then 25 then 4 then 16 and then 25. So the total of y square would be equals to 134. And then x, y we have to calculate which is 5 multiplied by 840. Then we have 50 like this we are going to calculate. So total of x multiplied by y would be equals to 212. Now we have to apply the formula. So the formula says that n summation of x, y minus summation x summation y. Then we have under root of n multiplied by summation x square minus summation x to the whole square multiplied by again under root n of summation y square minus summation y to the whole square. So we have to apply this formula and we have get our 
answer. So simply putting the values, we have to go for it. We have to put the values here, which would be n is the number of question, uh, elements that is 7 multiplied by summation x, y, which is 2, 1, 2 minus summation x, which is 45 into 25. Hold upon, we have n under root of n that is 7 multiplied by 463 minus we have 45 to the whole square and then multiplied by again under root 7 multiplied by we have 134 minus of 25 to the whole square. So after solving this we will get our answer as minus 0 0.56. So we can say that for this question option C would be the correct answer for the same. So what we have done is we have simply put the values we have calculated summation x summation y and summation x square and summation y square. Or simply in values ko humne formula mein put kar diya and we have got our answer as minus 0 0.56. So let's proceed with the next question. Calculate coefficient of correlation when we have summation x y 27, summation x as 144 and summation y as 9. So simple formula would be summation of x y whole upon we have under root of summation x square multiplied by summation y square. This is equals to 27 upon under root of 144 multiplied by 9. So after solving this, we have our answer as 0.75. So we can say that for this question, option C would be the correct. Here also we have done the same thing. The values was already given to us in the question. Or we have put the values in this formula. And we have got our answer. Mil gaya. Let's proceed to the next question. We have n equals to 100. Variance equals to 256. And we have to calculate the standard error. So standard error could be calculated if we know standard deviation. Or if we know how much sigma is. So, variance is equals to sigma square. So, to get standard deviation, we will put under root of variance. This ka matlab hai, under root of 256, which is equals to 60. So, sigma ka formula hota hai, under root of variance. So, standard error equals to sigma upon under root of n, which means 16 upon under root of 100 which is equals to 1.6. So, we can say that for this question, option B is the correct answer. I hope ki aapko ye samaj aaya hoga. Simply, formula is mein hume apni values ko put karna hai and we'll get our answer. For this question, we have to calculate the covariance when we have n equals to 8 and summation of x minus x bar and y minus y bar is equals to 98. So, covariance of x and y would be equals to summation of x minus x bar, y minus y bar, whole upon we have n minus 1. So, yaha par hoga 98 upon 8 minus 1, which is 98 divided by 7, which is equals to 14. So, correct option would be option number D in this case because we have got our answer as 14. So, covariance ka formula, summation x minus x bar, y minus y bar upon n minus 1. So, ye kuch important formulas hain jo hume hamesha dhyan lagte hain kyunki hume simply in mein values put karni hoti and we will get our answer. We have to find the coefficient correlation for the data which is being given to us. And we also have variance of x and y series and the number of observations. So, first of all, we are going to calculate the covariance which would be equals to 740 divided by 20 equals to 37. And then we have to go for the sigma or the standard deviation of x series which is under root of 204 and the sigma or the standard deviation of y series which is under root of 506. In order to get R, we have to do it as 37 divided by 204 multiplied by under root of 506. So, after solving this, we get our answer as 
0.115. So we can say that for this question, option A is the correct answer for the same. So we have our My Online Prep application, which is totally designed and has the revised concepts as per the revised syllabus of CAIIB 2023, where you have very lot numbers of mock tests and also free videos that you can use. And also, with the help of these values, you could score a better marks that is 60 plus, and also. You can comment down on any of the feedback or query regarding any particular question or a journal in the comment box. And also do subscribe to our channel because you cannot afford to miss out these special videos which is going to give a boost to your preparation strategies and also can help you to qualify exam in this attempt only. What is the relationship that exists this data exhibits? So what we have to do here is we have to draw a particular graph. In this graph, we are going to have some particular temperatures on the x-axis that would be from 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 and we can also have it ahead like it would be 22, 24. And here we have to take the Y series which is 150, 300, 350, not exactly 350 but you can take it like 450 and also 600 and 750. So when the temperature was 11.9 we have the temperature as 185 somewhat near here and when we have temperature 14.2 so y was 215 and next when 16.4 was the temperature it was 325 then after that 18.5 we have 406 then for 22 we have it as 522 then for 25 Point 0.1 it was 614. So we can say that the points are scattered but they are moving in the upward direction. This shows there is a direct relationship between these two variables such that rise in the temperature or rise in x also leads to rise in the y which means here option A is the correct answer for the same. Next question is, in the simple linear regression equation where y equals to mx plus b, this is the equation of regression, where what does m represents here? So whether it's a dependent variable or an independent variable or we could say that it is a slope or it is a y-intercept of the regression line. So, the correct option in this case is option number C because M here represents the slope of regression line which tells the that relationship between the independent variable which is x and the dependent variable which is y. So, in this equation of y equals to mx b, x and y are the dependent and independent variable where M represents our slope of the same. So in this case option C is the correct answer. Given as the valuable data we have to obtain the y equation. So we have to obtain the y regression equation where we have mean equals to 28, yield is 40, standard deviation of rainfall is 3 and standard deviation of yield per hectare is 6. So, we have y bar equals to 40, we have x bar equals to 28, then we have standard deviation of x as 3 and standard deviation of y as 40. So, we have to apply it in the equation. So, the equation is y minus y bar equals to r 
under root of uh, sigma of y upon sigma of x, then we have x minus x bar. So, we have to put the value simply. That would be equals to y minus y bar that is 40 equals to 0 0.8 which is given to us and we have this multiplied by 6 by 3 and here we have x minus 28. So, after solving this, we will get our equation as it would be y minus 40 equals to this would be cancel out by 2 0 0.8 multiplied by 2 then we have x minus 28 so this would be equals to y minus 40 equals to 1.6 of x minus 28 further solving it it would be y minus 40 equals to 1.6 x minus 44.8 it would be y equals to minus 4.8 plus 1.6x. So, we can say that option A is the correct answer in this case. So, this is how we are going to calculate the y equation that is the regression. Proceeding towards the next question. So, here in this question, we have to calculate the standard error such that n equals to 7 summation of x y square is 26463, sxy is 28469 and we have sy equals to 427. We have a equals to 39.96 and b equals to 0 0.325. So, here we have to apply the formula that is se equals to under root of we have summation of sy square minus a summation y minus b summation xy upon n minus 2. So, we are going to apply the equation that would be under root of 26463 minus 39.96 multiplied by 427 minus of we have 0 0.325 that is b multiplied by 28469 upon we have 7 minus of 2. So, after solving this we will get it as 147.655 upon 5. After solving this, this would be equals to 5.43. So, we can say that for this question, the correct answer would be option number D in this case. So, that's all for today. I hope ki aapko chapter number 4 that is correlation and regression ka kaafi achha revision mila hoga. And also, इसी के साथ साथ जो आपके important concepts हैं, उसमें भी आपको उनकी applicability का एक अच्छा तौर तरीका पता चला होगा कि किस type के questions हैं और कैसे पूछे जाएंगे exams में और आपको इन questions को कैसे attempt करना है. So basically, correlation and regression एक ऐसे type का chapter है जिसमें आपके major questions आपके numerical parts से based होंगे. Or also some of the very basic questions like correlation ki value minus 1 to plus 1 hoti hai. Also, agar value plus 1 ke paas hai to strong correlation hai. Agar 0 ke paas hai to strong utna relation nahi hai. Do variables ke beech mein. Also, aap humare channel ko subscribe karna na bhoolein. Kyunki hum aapke liye zoz hi alag alag chapters ki videos laate rahenge. Jo aapki tiyari ko aur behtar banane mein help karenge. Or also, हमारे मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन दैट इज माय ऑनलाइन प्रेप को डाउनलोड करना ना भूलें क्योंकि यहां आपको मिलेंगे हजारों मॉक टेस्ट के क्वेश्चंस बहुत सारी की कांसेप्ट्स की वीडियोस जो आपके तैयारी को बूस्ट करेंगी और आपको इसी अटेम्प्ट में 60 प्लस और CAIIB 2023 को पार करने में हेल्प करेगी सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू वॉच ऑल द वीडियोस एंड मेक योर कांसेप्ट्स अ गिव इट अ क्विक बूस्ट थैंक यू कीप लर्निंग विद अस